it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an Aldi haul and I'm excited that you all are here. Today's video is kind of fun because I'm prepping for Easter and we're actually hosting lunch on Sunday. So today's goal was to go and get some stuff for that. So you all are going to get to see what I'm contributing to lunch. We're also having our family bring some dishes as well. And then you're also gonna just see some other like random stuff we need for the week. I'll kind of share like our rough meal plan this week. We're honestly kind of just doing super easy dinners this week cause that's what I'm in the mood for. So I got some stuff for that. So that's the game plan for today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Brittany and on my channel, I primarily share grocery hauls. I also do sprinkle in some like day in the life content vlogs that kind of stuff so if that is content you like I would love to have you join my YouTube family hit the subscribe button below and give this video a like if you enjoy it it really helps my channel out so much so with that let's go ahead and jump into our haul this week we're doing very easy dinners and when I went to Aldi yesterday I was kind of winging it I didn't really have a set meal plan in mind but to be honest, I've just been feeling a little burned out on cooking. So I basically went in and picked up things that would supplement what we have here and just make our dinners this week pretty much effortless. So that's kind of the vibe of this week's haul. So first up, I picked up some pepperoni and mozzarella flatbreads. I've talked before about how I really enjoy all these pre-made deli style pizzas and my preference is actually the flatbreads. I just think they're a little bit better than the bigger pizzas. If you're feeding more people, it's definitely a better value to get the big pizzas, but there's something about the flatbreads that are just a little bit better. So I just got two of them. So we're probably going to make those tonight for dinner and then we might have a little bit leftover we can eat for lunch tomorrow. I picked up some cheese and I actually did my shop yesterday so we've kind of dipped into our groceries a bit already. So I actually picked up two blocks of cheese but Derek already opened one so I got a sharp cheddar and a Colby. So we have some um, chicken burgers in the fridge already. Uh, I'll show you the brand in a minute but I wanted to do kind of a Greek style chicken burger for dinner tomorrow. So I picked up their cucumber dill tzatziki sauce. This is my first time trying this, but I noticed they had a bunch of different flavors. They had a spinach artichoke one. They had a Parmesan one. So going to give this a try. I actually was going to like make homemade tzatziki sauce and then I realized they had pre-made tzatziki and I thought what a perfect opportunity to try their tzatziki sauce. So we're going to do the chicken burgers with maybe like a little bit of feta cheese on them and some tzatziki sauce either on the burgers or on the side with carrots and cucumbers. And then we also have some pita chips in the pantry also. So want to use those up. So again, we're just kind of trying to shelf cook and um, make do with some of the stuff we have and use some stuff up. And these are the burgers we have. I actually picked these up at Costco and we've had the caramelized onion and cheddar ones. So these ones are new to us. They're spinach, feta, and red pepper. So I thought that flavor was, you know, would be really good with the um, tzatziki sauce and feta cheese. Along with the ingredients we've dipped into already. Um, well, actually we haven't used these yet, but these are just a pack of the brioche buns. When I got home yesterday, the bun wrapper had condensation in it, and I know the rolls are okay. It probably was just from them being in the car, maybe with some of the cold stuff, but instead of leaving it in the original packaging, I just went ahead and took them out and put them in my own bag because I just didn't want them to get moldy. And I actually froze four of them because I don't know if we're going to use more than two tomorrow night when we have these burgers. But if we do, we'll just pull them out of the freezer. So that's why it's in a separate bag. Some other produce, I picked up some green grapes and some bananas. I feel like we go through fruit like crazy now that Isaac is eating solids regularly. I feel like he has fruit at least twice a day and he's just a really good eater. So I find myself now that I'm going to the store twice a week um, because usually I'm not doing like a big shop both times, but I feel like I'm always having to pick up produce and such for him. Some pantry staples. So I actually realized this weekend when I was making homemade banana bread 
that my baking soda was very expired and I felt like I was back in the 1950s because I had to text my neighbor and say, hey, do you by any chance have a teaspoon of baking soda you can spare? And luckily she had some on hand because if not, I was gonna have to run out to the store because I was already like in the midst of making it, you know what I mean? And usually I'm pretty good, like, I st pretty, stay pretty on top of like my baking supplies, but I guess it's just been a minute since I baked. So um, I made sure that I had that on my list of things to get is baking soda, so restocked that. Luckily we have very nice neighbors and it's been such a blessing in the last year. I feel like since we've had a kid, we've met a lot of families with kids and we've become really close. So it's such a blessing and we're so grateful to have that community. So some things for Easter. I picked up some of these dinner rolls. This was in their freezer section. Again, this is not something that Aldi carries all the time, but I think it's because seasonally Easter is around the corner. So they had some of that stuff. We really like that brand a lot. This is the same brand of the rolls you get in the foil pan. So I picked up a bag of those to go with our Easter meal. Um, they're just, they're so good. They're, nothing beats a warm roll with butter. Oh, so good. It sounds so good. I haven't eaten breakfast yet and now I'm like, ooh, I'm so hungry. Okay, and then we have some spices. I needed onion powder and Italian seasoning just because we're out. I picked up some chicken broth to go with these green beans that we're also going to have for Easter. So I have a couple different like variations of green beans that I make for holidays, but I think what I'm going to do this weekend is do the green beans drained and then cook them in a little bit of chicken broth with some onion, some brown sugar, and some bacon, which I don't have yet. Um... I was on the fence about if I was going to use bacon, but I think I will pick up some bacon before the end of the week. And what I'll do is I'll cook the bacon probably on Saturday. So it's pre-cooked and my family's from the South. So we reserve a little bit of the bacon grease to put in the green beans. So I'll probably do that with some like onion powder and spices and we'll have green beans to go with our Easter meal. So the rolls, the green beans, and then I also picked up one of their spiral sliced hams. So we are hosting at our house for my in-laws and my parents. So I'm going to be cooking the ham, which I love ham. And I love ham also because it's so easy. It's already fully cooked. This ham is four pounds and it was $22, which isn't horrible. I do feel like it's a little pricey for Aldi, but I mean, it could be a lot worse. And my mom has cooked quite a few of their hams in the past and They've all been really good. This is the boneless one. They had two different kinds of ham. They had the honey ham, which was bone in, and then the boneless ham. This one, um, the glaze, which I can't really show you that well, is brown sugar. So I think this should be good. I typically like the bone in hams because I like to freeze the bone and then use it later on for like a pot of beans or bean soup or something like that. But my mom was saying that she thinks the hams in the foil are a little bit better. So I went with the boneless one because the other honey ham was not in a tin foil. That was the bone and ham. I'm sure they're both good, but it's just our preference. A couple other miscellaneous things, restocked eggs and milk for Isaac. I also picked up the buttermilk pancakes. This is our first time getting them. This has been on my list of things to try from there. Because I mentioned, we pretty much love most of their breakfast stuff. And the last time I went to Aldi, they were actually all out of these pancakes. It's been a while since we had frozen pancakes, but it's just another really easy thing I like to have for Isaac in the morning. You literally just pop a pancake on the plate, microwave it for 30 seconds, and then it's done. That's what he had for breakfast this morning. He gobbled it down. He loved it. And I took a little taste too. They're pretty good. And the ingredients aren't like horrible. I definitely think that the Trader Joe's Silver Dollar Organic Pancakes, those are like very clean ingredients. So definitely my preference to get the pancakes from there, but it's not super close to our house. So the next time I go there, I will make sure to grab a box of those. But I think these will be good to have in the interim. And then my impulse buys of the trip are the snack foods, which I always go into Aldi and I'm like, I'm not gonna buy more snack food because a lot of times I'll buy snacks. And to be honest, I'm not like a big, big snacker. 
And then I'll open the bag and I'll sit in our pantry for a while. And a lot of times, like, I won't finish it before it expires. But this popcorn, guys, is so good. And I remember I picked it up. It might have been around this time last year. I know I've gotten it at Aldi before. It's not there all the time. It's one of those Aldi finds items. But the cheese and caramel popcorn is so good. It's like the perfect snack for at the end of the night when you're watching TV. And it's actually like gluten-free too, which I was thinking of my friend. Um, we were talking because I was letting her know I was at Aldi. And we we're talking about how much about we love Aldi. And I was like, I wonder if this is gluten-free because it's she's gluten-free. And it is, which is kind of crazy because sometimes with like snack foods, like I know generally popcorn is gluten-free, but when you add in like this, the, the cheese powder and like the caramel and stuff, I was like, I'm not sure what other ingredients are in this, but yeah, the ingredients are honestly like not horrible either. So definitely recommend that if you see that at your Aldi. And then I picked up Robin eggs because guys like Easter candy, in my opinion, is so good. Like I just think it's so much better than all the other holiday candies and I've been like so into Robin's eggs this year I mean I've always like liked Whoppers and typically I'm like a Cadbury egg girl like the little crunchy Cadbury eggs but this year Robin eggs have been my jam so I went ahead and picked up two more bags because they don't expire I think until like December I want to say I thought I saw in the bag so I'm just gonna throw those in the pantry for when I need more robin eggs because yeah, they're just so good. Comment below and let me know what your favorite Easter candy is. I'm curious. I do have a peanut allergy, so I am like a little bit limited, but yeah, I just, I love the Easter candy. So that was everything. Sorry, we kind of bounced around on the counter a lot. I wasn't su super organized in how we went through stuff, but let me grab the receipt and I'll show you the total for yesterday. Here's all my prices, and as usual, I will just um, scroll down and you guys can pause as you would like to to see the individual prices if you want to take a closer look. I want, I'm curious to know, like, the hams. It was interesting because this was $22.25, and I looked through our bin because it was by weight, but most of the hams were the exact same weight. So I'm wondering if this was just a flat price. For the boneless hams i'm not sure but anyways here's all the prices and you can pause if you need to and then the total price was 88.04 so that wraps up today's video i hope you all enjoyed seeing my little easter haul not even little it was kind of a lot of stuff lot more expensive than I intended it to be but we got some good stuff so I'm gonna call it a win anyways if you enjoyed today's video again I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up below hit the subscribe button and if you're new and you enjoyed today's video again I would love to have you join my YouTube family and if you celebrate Easter I hope you have a very happy and fun filled Easter day with friends and family we're really looking forward to this Easter it's like not Isaac's first Easter, but this he's much older, so it's going to be fun to get to see him experience all of that. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!